Hey everybody! Welcome to the replay. I'm trying to comment. Just getting set up. Hope you all had a great Monday. Back to work. I did. On my new device, I have to type everything in. It's a little bit harder. Hello, hello, welcome, come in. There we go. Awesome. Now you won't see me shaking the camera around so much. Let's get everything on. Everything. So, I have been waiting to use this super cute, why do we keep turning off? Here we go. Um, this transfer called I don't do mornings, and it's kind of something that I um, totally don't do. <laughs> Not a morning person, never have been. Hi, Chrissy. Hey, Jessica. Hi, Jennifer. Hello, Jamie. So, I'm just going to show you this up close because it is the most adorable transfer. And, hi, Robin. Hi, Lisa. What a great way to test out Chalk Couture with a really inexpensive transfer like this. I don't do mornings, rise and shine, good morning, and the cute little rooster who I want to call a turkey all the time. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Linda. Hi, Susanna. Susanna, we have emerald chalk paste. Uh, I know you've been waiting forever. It's back. Emerald and navy blue. Hi, Amy. So I'm totally not holding this in front of the camera because I'm learning where this camera is. So I moved it. Here you go. I don't do mornings. Super, super cute. And I'm going to do it right now on a coffee mug. And I feel like, um, well, I'm going to use the inks. And I'm going to teach you how to use the coffee mug. Um, but seriously, in all honesty, this transfer is only $6.99. So you get four transfers and it's reusable over and over. Um, you can make the cutest things for your kitchen for, you know, for whatever. Um, so I don't do mornings. It is known. Um, I found this really cute clear coffee mug, and I'm going to. So my transfer is a different color because it's um, a little bit older than the new one. And I need to kind of center it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make like a. I'm going to use two of our squeegees, okay? Wait, I need another one. Perfect, okay, so um, I need to move my working surface. Okay, there we go. Now you guys can see it. I have squeegees down there holding this in place so that I can get this kind of centered. Now, my mug um, has a lip and what I mean by that is it's curved upward so I'm not putting it all the way um, to the top and because everything curves what you want to do is you can see how I'm pushing this down and as long as there are no bubbles by any of these openings you're gonna be good to go as you move along the curve, you need to push down. There can be bubbles all down here as long as they are not by the um, 
what's it called? <laughs> you guys. Um, as long as it's not by the, the stuff. I went back to work today, okay? Now my brain doesn't work. Um, the, the screen, the screen. My gosh, I'm terrible. Okay, so I don't do mornings is going to go on this side so that when I'm holding it, drinking with my right hand, everybody can read it and they can back off. I'm gonna use my favorite color, which is um, our Couture ink. So this is ink, not chalk. And it is the teal, Couture teal. That's the color name, right? Yeah, Couture teal. So I'm gonna open this up. And I am gonna teach you, this is gonna be a super short live, but I'm gonna teach you all about using the ink on stuff that's not fabric. I need to wipe my hands so that I don't get this anywhere. Yeah, this is a super sweet looking color. Um, okay, silk screen screen. Oh, you guys are great. Ha ha ha, how cute is that cup? I love it, Cheryl. Um, so you can do this with any kind of a glassware, like ceramics, ceramic things that you can put in the oven. If you can bake it in the oven at 350 degrees, then you can use our ink because all it needs is 350 degrees in the oven for 30 minutes to be permanently set. Uh, so what we're gonna do, hi Julie, Julia, so sorry. What we're gonna do is, hi Stephanie, hi Cheryl, I'm going to ink it up. I've got some small squeegees here. I'm gonna ink this up and peel off the transfer. Now my transfer was old and used and so I didn't um, need to fuzz it. When you get your transfer, you're going to fuzz it before you put it on this glass. I guarantee it will stick to the glass. So you wanna fuzz it with a towel or washcloth before you get it. Um, stuck down there. Now, I'm going to give you all of the instructions as I go. So I'm just dipping into my ink. This is not chalk. This is ink. And I'm going to, it's a little bit different using it on a hard surface versus fabric because I've been using it only on fabric. I did put it on some boards, um, but still, that's different too. Every little surface is different. Um, so I just need to make sure that all of the silk screen is covered in the ink. And I do want to spread it out, and I do want to make sure there aren't lines, but this goes on pretty easily. Okay, it looks like I'm done. Now, you can fix any mess ups if they're on here. And to be honest, if you totally mess up, you can wash it off and start over. So I'm gonna put my excess back in here and I'm gonna peel carefully. And then I'm gonna set this into my water where I am gonna to start to rub it off. Isn't that cute? I don't do mornings and it's in the cutest teal color. Um, and then I want to do, okay, hold on, I'm gonna set it down. I need my towel, which has disappeared. Oh, here it is on the floor. Okay. So, hi, Heather. Hope you're feeling better. Hi, Lori. Hi, Diane. So, if you guys can see that, I don't do more. It looks amazing. There is one little spot over here that I think I will take my super pointy... Q-tip and just kind of wipe that clean. What happens is, 
I used a transfer that was used um, um, several times, and I probably just um, got a little bubble in there. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna throw that away since that has ink on it. This has to dry. So um, I'm gonna let it sit for a minute while I talk to you before I do the other side. So um, you want your ink to dry completely before you put it in the oven. So you can help it dry by using a hair dryer or like a craft heater like this, which is what I will do to get it dry. And um, once it's totally 100% dry, you can even just set it out overnight for 24 hours. Then you're going to turn your oven on to 350 degrees. It's cold. You turn it on to 350. You put this in there when it's cold. You set your timer for 30 minutes and you let it go. So as the um, as your oven is heating up, this is in there starting to cure. And then um, after 30 minutes, you turn it off and you let it cool. And then you take this out and it's permanent. You can put it in the dishwasher. I put it on a little crooked. It doesn't matter. The only people who are going to see it are in my home and um, you on camera, but that's okay. Yeah, so you can put it in the dishwasher. You can wash it. Um, now I need to put my little rooster, not that one, this one on here. And I don't know if I could fit any words because I, I could put Rise and Shine with my little rooster, but I, I, I probably won't be able to. I think we're just going to do the rooster. That's a little high. And this might be a little tricky because we're starting to bend downward. I'm trying not to touch the ink on the other side. Okay, looks like we've got everything. <gasps> Just one little spot. We really can work those bubbles out. Oh, I didn't have a bubble there. What happened? It pulled up. That's because my transfer is old. If I was just not so cheap and opened up the other package, this wouldn't have happened. Okay, we got it on here. I don't like, I'm using my fingernail to get the bubbles out. And I feel like I'm going to need to do this fairly quick because these bubbles are relentless. It's going on. It's, it's good. It's good. I'm good. I think I got it. Awesome. Now all I have to do is peel it. Oh, look at my rooster. I almost said turkey again, you guys. I almost said turkey. So now I have my rooster on one side that I can see him, and I don't do mornings on the other. So cute. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Heather. Hi, Jean. All right, so what are my instructions now? We're going to dry this. We're going to put it into an oven, cold, Set it for 350 for 30 minutes and let it cure. Then we're going to turn it off. We're going to let it cool down. That process um, seals this ink to the surface that it's on. So you can help it dry using a hair dryer or a craft dryer like I'm using here. But you want this completely dry before it goes into the oven and then like I said I gave you the instructions thanks Jessica um all right so I'm not going to do that with you obviously because I don't have an oven here in my craft room but 
the cutest transfer. It's only $6.99. Um, and then all you need to do is pick up some different ink colors, whatever you like. We have red, we have gold and silver and copper, and we have coral and navy. Just so many great ink colors. And then um, you can find yourself any surface to use. And what a great little starter kit to grab an ink to grab this transfer for $6.99. Ah, oh, thank you, Christy. It is super cute and affordable, and it's just a great way to start trying some of this stuff that I know you want to have. So um, it's a really quick live for me, but that's it. The instructions are really on the ink, the bottom of the ink. I, I have a bigger one. Um, so there are instructions down here. It tells you what to do, and um, it even says if you put it on fabric that you need to heat set it with an iron for four minutes on each side. Um, blah, blah, blah. There's all kinds of information on here. And who would you call if you needed more help? Me. You send me a message. You could call me on the phone, whatever. So... I don't do mornings. This is Couture Teal um, and the cutest little rooster. Um, enjoy, enjoy. Copper, salt, and pepper. Sugar. You so should. If you can put it in the oven at 350 degrees, you can use the Couture ink on it. So, oh, this is the um, coral color. It's so pretty. You, Jennifer, you have to try the inks eventually. Um, and I will say, this is my first time inking on the glass. I have a giant cookie jar over there and I'm waiting to do, it's a really nice one, so I'm waiting um, for the exact transfer that I wanna put on there. But this for sure, this is me. I don't do mornings, totally not a morning person. Um, and you can throw this in the dishwasher so everybody's happy. And look how big it is. You know how much coffee I can fit in this? It's giant. I am super happy. And you'll never guess where I got this or how much I paid for it. Because I am super thrifty, as you know. Hi, Tracy. This is just another added little kitchen thing. Like you can do your kitchen towels. You can do some mugs. If you decorate with roosters, oh my gosh, we have so many right now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you making fun of my yeah? Okay. Any questions about the ink, the instructions, this super cute transfer, or anything that you see here that I showed you? I can't lay it down anymore because I got both sides and it's not um, sealed in yet. So if we have no more questions, then we're good to go, and you guys are good to uh, get trying this for yourselves. So fun and so easy. I cannot tell you that um, the inks are so easy. I mean, I thought our chalk paste was easy. This is even easier than that. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. So excited. I will show this off after I put it in the oven. And um, I will show you how permanent it is and how you can wash it in the dishwasher and everything. I will make sure to add the pictures to the live. I need to do a Sunday workshop because Amy works all the time and she doesn't work Sundays. That's what I'm hearing. Well, I just might be able to do a Sunday workshop. Hi, Nicole. All right. If you're just coming in, you're gonna have to go back and watch from the beginning. This is super, super cute. Super cute using our inks and um, a cup, a mug. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you all soon.